How's it going? My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a jailbroken app which has been out for quite a while, um, known as PDA Net. And if you kept up on current events, like probably most of you that are watching this video have, you know that Verizon is getting the iPhone 4. Um, noticeably different between the iPhone 4 for Verizon and for AT&T is the OS. Um, as you know, that Verizon is getting the 4.3, which adds what is known as a mobile hotspot. Now, unfortunately, AT&T does not have this option for their iPhone since we're still running on the 4.2.1. Uh, but there will be a uh, OS upgrade to 4.3 for the iPhone for AT&T. Unfortunately, I don't know when. But um, but uh, the good news is is that there is an app that is already out that uh, has you've been able to, that has allowed you to already do this so um, if you're new to uh, you know jailbreaking your iPhone then this is something that you probably might want to take a look at um, as you can see I have an iPad and I have an iPhone 4 my iPad is not jailbroken it's on 4.2.1 but it's not jailbroken my iPhone 4 is it's on the beta 8 version um, unfortunately I'm waiting for the new one to come out uh, which is a more stable one but they don't know when that will be coming out but so far um, I haven't had any issues with any of the apps that I have that I've jailbroken mine with so I'm just going to go ahead and show you basically what PDA Net can do and what it is um, PDA Net is basically allows you to do the same thing that the Verizon iPhone 4 can do um, with the 4.3 only um, it's an app and it's not uh, something that you go into the settings to do and it's completely free and you can easily remove it uh, by going into Cydia uh, if your iPhone is jailbroken. If not, then I suggest you uh, um, look for how to jailbreak your iPhone on uh, YouTube or any of the other uh, jailbreaking sites like ModMyEye.com has a few uh, forms that show you how to do it. Um, now, keep in mind that if you do update your iPhone to 4.2.1, there is not a jailbreak uh, for your phone. Well, there is it's red snow but unfortunately like I said it's a beta is still in beta form so that basically means that the jailbreak is a little unstable some apps will crash some won't don't ask me about which ones work which ones don't work because um, um, the ones that I have are specifically used for my phone so um, I do not know which apps will work and which ones don't work um, but um, as I said you can check the various other sites where you jailbreak your iPhones and you can check with them and see if there's anybody has actually asked that question. Um, as for me, all the apps that I have work just fine. Now, as you know, um, PDA Net has been out for quite a while. I'd say I've seen, I've had it on my previous iPhones, my 3GS and my 3G. Um, so I've had it for. So I'm assuming it's going to be out. It's been out for at least a year or more. Uh, most people probably aren't aware of what PDA Net is, unless of course you know you uh, were paying attention to when AT&T decided to do the tethering option for the iPhone. Um, basically, what PDA Net does um, is, as you can see, it gives you options to one of them being USB tethering, as you can see from here. Channel, so you can see that. Um, turn down the brightness a bit. As you can see, PDNet gives you that option. The only difference between this one and the one AT&T does is that this one is free and AT&T charges you $20, I believe, to do it. Now, if you plan on doing the USB tether option for your iPhone, um, you would have to download the PDNet desktop client in order to use this because it won't recognize it without that client. Um, also, keep in mind that unless you have unlimited data, I would not suggest using this because if you're in an area where AT&T's coverage is not so great, um, yeah, it, it will take, it can chew up some data. And this also goes for Verizon iPhones. Um, the jailbreak will work with Verizon's iPhone as well as with AT&T's iPhone. Like I said, they're both identical. Only difference is that one has a mobile hotspot, and the current version, uh, firmware version, running now for the iPhone does not. But with this app, it allows you to do the same thing without having to go through the settings. Also, the same difference is that you don't have to worry about getting charged uh, for using this option as when it comes to AT&T and when Verizon gets theirs rolling on the 10th of February. 
uh, but for now I'm going to show you basically what it can do as you can see they're all turned off as you can see you have your Wi-Fi hotspot your Wi-Fi client and your USB tethering which I've already told you about what the tethering can do the Wi-Fi hotspot basically turns your iPhone into like a giant broadcasting antenna um, and this app is free as you can see you can register it um, but you'd have to go to the web you'd have to go to the website to do that which you can easily ping if you need to but uh, I find that you don't really have to because I've had the app before never had to do it um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go first to my um, iPad as you can see I'm connected via Wi-Fi and as you can see we're going to go into settings and we're going to go into my Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi is under my name as you can see here now what we're going to do is we're going to use my iPhone's Wi-Fi uh, brought mobile hot or we're going to use my iPhone's um, Wi-Fi hotspot to connect my iPad using just my iPhone and not have it connected to my um, wireless home network. Now, as you can see, it's turned off. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it off. Now, as you can see, all the different settings. Um, the SSID, basically what you're going to name your iPhone when you uh, enable the, uh, when you activate it. Um, when you first activate it, the default is going to say PDA Net Hotspot. Um, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, the next option is what is known as your pass, uh, password setting, which is the web, which is um, basically means it's wireless equivalent protection, which means it's your basic protection to prevent people from say trying to hack into your phone or try to hack in or, or jump use your phone as a piggyback uh, for their Wi-Fi uh, basically Wi-Fi stealing uh, even though that's basically what you're doing but you know someone else doing it to you um, there is no uh, as you can see the password requires you to use a 10 digit number there's no alphanumeric there's no alpha there's just 10 numbers um, I'm gonna leave it blank because I don't know about you but I can't remember 10 numbers um, so you're gonna have to. I don't know if it saves it or not when you exit out. So I'm just gonna leave it blank for now. Um, the next option is the channels. As you can see, just like a basic router, you have your channels between one and eleven, depending on where you're at, how much signal, um, how much signal is being broadcast. Like say you're in an area where everyone's using channel eleven, and you're having a hard time connecting your iPhone to whatever you're using, then you can select different channels where there's less interference and you can boost your signal anywhere from 1 to 100 usually 50 percent is usually about normal unless of course you're like you know 30 feet away from your device which you know most people would do unless you're you know really stupid and don't think anyone's going to jack your you know laptop which in this day and age people will jack anything so as you can see um, my SSID on my phone is named Dominus everything's set as you can see as a list on my list of available networks it is not on there so what we're going to do is we're going to activate it and as you can see it gives me the name it's activated it's turned on and what we do is we go up here see if it's under the list of networks and as you can see it is so we're just going to click on it and as you can see it's connected and how do I know it's connected other than the fact that it's check marked and it's highlighted uh, we're going to test it out on um, uh, browser of mine we're going to use uh, I've been using Skyfire all day. We're going to use Atomic Web. Click on it. And as you can see, it's loading. It loads pretty quickly um, for the app. It's not pretty bad. And as you can see, it's connected through my phone web browsing. Now, um, I haven't tried it for videos or anything else like that. I don't know if it'll work with videos. Um, I don't know if I should try it or not. I probably will, just to give you a layout to see if it works or not. So you can decide whether if you want the app or not. But as you can see, it loads pretty quickly to other websites. As you can see, I'm going to choose Best Buy as a because I have it bookmarked. And as you can see, gives a takes a little bit of time, a couple seconds. I'd say 10, 12 at the most. As you can see, load that up pretty quick. Uh, let's see. We'll try YouTube and see how it fares with loading of a video.
And we're just gonna see, we'll just pick anything. Oh, wait. We got something playing. I didn't know there was something playing. Oh. As you can see. Ladies and gentlemen, the Clash 99. Not too bad. As you can see, it loads pretty quickly the video, as you can see right there. Unfortunately, I'm not using the HD version because that probably would chew up a lot of bandwidth. But as you can see from here, it's not too bad. It actually loads it up pretty quickly. As you can see, there's no hesitation in the video, how it sometimes cuts and stops to load. So, all in all, I'd say it's not it's not bad. Um, as I said, though, um, the only drawback is um, if you're using this app, unless you have unlimited data, I would probably watch how much of this you stream as far as videos or as far as browsing the internet if you're on one of the new current AT&T plans because uh, you can chew up a lot of uh, data using this not if you no, I'm not talking about like you know just your everyday browsing the internet but like say you want to use um, like you know YouTube or Vivo which requires a lot of uh, data because you're going to be streaming music I would probably limit how much of it you use because you can go over your uh, data plan if you're not paying attention so that's pretty much it I'm going to turn this off set back to my wireless um, that's pretty much what PDA net is and what you can do with it now uh, need I remind you that um, this is uh, you have to have your iPhone jailbroken in order to get this app if it's not jailbroken you can check any of the various sites um, like modmyeye.com or any other site that has uh, um, you know instructions on how to jailbreak your iPhone and I would you know try it but if like I said if you've already updated to 4.2.1 then you might want to hold off on that because there is no stable jailbreak for it yet there is one coming out soon um, you might want to wait for the 4.3 if um, you want to there will be a jailbreak for that again um, as far as when it comes out that I don't know um, but basically um, this works basically PDA works for the Verizon iPhone version and the AT&T version um, this like I said just bypasses the whole using the, your phone as a mobile hotspot and getting charged for it now um, you can jailbreak at your own risk even though it's legal you know if you don't know how to jailbreak uh, like I said check out the sites um, the app is definitely worth it if you want to use your device as a mobile hotspot without being charged for it it's definitely a useful app it'll work um, on your laptop as well um, but you have to download the desktop client for PDA net in order to use it that way it also goes with using it uh, with the USB also and that's pretty much it so any questions just leave a comment and I'll try to answer them as best I can this is Chris and thanks for watching my video